doesn't matter. All right, this is the Resolution 360 the hemostasis clip. So what you're gonna do is remove the catheter from the package. I grab the front of the catheter and the back and let the middle fall. Um, what you'll notice is at the handle here, um, there's an orange area. This orange area, if you rotate here, will actually cause rotation at the clip. Um, as far as utilization of the clip, it works very similarly to a snare. Is uh, As you open your hand, you open the jaws of the clip. If you close your hand, you close the jaws of the clip. Um, the other thing that's really helpful for physicians is they have control of the rotation as well. So as they send the clip down the biopsy port, if the physician would like to control their own rotation, they would just grab the outside of the catheter and they can rotate the clip both directions. When utilizing the clip, we should all use probably the same vocabulary. So when a physician is um, telling you what they'd like you to do with the clip, they're gonna say open, they're gonna say close, and they may need to reposition, so they may need to open again. So the three commands that we should be using with a hemostasis clip are open, close, and then the final one would be deploy. So what I'm gonna do is open my clip. Oops, sorry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Open. We put it on the tissue, we close. If the bleeding stops and we're happy with the position, then the physician will say, deploy. So what we're gonna do with our hand is we're gonna hear three sounds, we're gonna, or we're gonna hear two sounds. We call them snap, crackle, and pop. You're gonna squeeze, you'll hear a click. You're gonna squeeze harder, you'll hear another click. Once you've heard the second click, now we open our hands, and what that will do is eject the clip from the catheter, and then we can place another clip or move on with the procedure, but that's it.